Soma's ties to public security may lead to his undoing. By seizing the puppet himself, Yagami seeks to pull down the puppet master holding the strings. To do so, he forms a temporary alliance with the fugitive Kuana. But Soma arrives to carve a bloody path into a hideaway no one should know about. Reiko Kusumoto's betrayal has proven more volatile than anyone could have guessed. Yenda-sensei, they're calling last night's bombing a terrorist attack. The body they recovered was burnt beyond recognition. That was a Kaikei-kun, right? The one Yagami mentioned? Yes, I believe so. Nothing about Soma or RK in the article either. Could public security be tampering with the press? I wouldn't give public security that much credit. Besides, if a bomb goes off in a deserted public place, it's only natural for the police to assume it's terrorism. Right. I guess when you put it that way. Unfortunately, even if they do identify a Kaikei-kun, the ones responsible are Kuana and Soma. Two guys who are totally off the grid. Any investigation would grind to a halt. Probably end up as another unsolved mystery. If the public learned the bombing was tied to Ihara's battery case, Jaws would hit the floor. Yeah. Anyway, where's Yagami? You heard from him since last night? No. We've been in touch via email, though. He's on his way to a hospital now. Great. What'd he get himself into now? If he's actually going to the hospital, does that mean it's serious? Don't worry, he's fine. He's just going to meet with someone about the case. Who'd want to meet up at a hospital? Reiko Kusumoto. Thirteen years. I still can't believe it. Waking up and finding out you're suddenly thirty. Take your time. You'll adjust eventually. Work again? I won't be long. I just need to take a quick meeting. Now put down that mirror already. So, you sold Kwan out to public security because Mitsurakun woke up. Does that about sum it up? <sighs> you waited 13 years for Mitsurakun to wake up. If you turn yourself in now, you'd lose him all over again. There's that. Yes. Going forward, he needs to stand on his own two feet and rebuild his life. It'll take time. And lots of it. There's no real end in sight. He's at a disadvantage as it is. And to brand him the child of a murderer on top of that... I couldn't. Hey. 
Mitsuru! Mitsuru! It's incredible. Finally, he's woken up. Doesn't this change everything? I think you may want to reconsider what you told me, Kusumoro-san. Alone, I'm sure you could have lived with the weight of your choice. But... <laughs> now you have something you'd sacrifice everything to protect. He's so precious. But he's also so fragile he could come crashing down without even a warning. You're going to have to be his shield, Kusumoro-san. We'll do it together. With your cooperation. <laughs> I have to do what I can to protect him. I suppose so, but... You covered up your crimes and it was Sawa-sensei who got caught in the crossfire. On top of that, Akaike-kun's throat was slit last night. Now he's dead too. Kawano will be another body for the pile soon. Hell, maybe I'm in trouble myself. How was he yesterday? Well, as soon as RK showed up for him, he knew you'd stabbed him in the back. I can't really say how that made him feel. Until now, he'd been adamant about ensuring you stayed out of this. He said no one could blame you for what you did to Shinya Kawai. Kawana put his life on the line for you. You failed to silence him, and you let him get away. That means whatever happens next, it's his move. And whatever he does to you, none of my business. As for me, I have no evidence on Kawai's murder, so you're off my list too. I only came here today because I wanted to know why you betrayed Kawana. That's all. I hope Mitsurakun has a speedy recovery. Back already, Yagamishi. How are you feeling after last night? That shockwave from the blast took you down. Oh yeah. That was something else, I gotta say. <laughs> I bet, tough guy. Kamurocho's finest detective never fails to impress. Tuck, you made it. We've been asking around if anyone's seen Kuana. You don't want to know how that went. No leads, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. Doesn't help that Arcade's crawling all over the place right now. Soon as they spot Kuwana, they're gonna make their move. Kuwana gave this to me yesterday. Isn't that Toshiro Ehara? Kuwana-san called you out there just to give you this? Yep. He told me to give it to Ehara. What the...? Oh man, it looks like it's cracked. Can you take a look at it, Tsukumo? I get the feeling it's no ordinary pendant. Certainly. Not handing it over to Ahara till you know what the deal is? Well, he won't mind, will he? Besides, I damn near got blown up over that thing. Speaking of, Yagamishi, what's the status of Ahara's sexual battery trial? Saori-san's preparing for the appeal. Still no date, but the courts are working as fast as they can. If they accept the case and it goes to trial, they'll find out about Kawana one way or another. And 
That it put Reiko Kusumoto in public security in the shithouse, right? Right. If Kawan and his murders come to light, anyone connected to Reiko Kusumoto could be suspected as an accomplice. And if that happens, she'd lose any control she had over the pension fund. Interesting. Everyone wants their own brand of justice to come out on top. But enough is enough. If we don't handle this, public security will take out Kawana. And I can't let him die like that. Then what's your next move? Gonna head to Ahara's trial and back up Sari-san. <laughs> Feels like we've come full circle. I'd argue the opposite, Yagamishi. The circumstances surrounding the trial are completely different this time around. I can't help but consider how grand a task simply seeking the truth could be. Seriously. But exposing the truth is the only way to save some and get justice for others. We can't just stay quiet and watch. <laughs> Sounds like you're seeing the light. Detective work's not so bad, is it? <laughs> Can you guys keep an eye out for Kawana and Ijincho? I need to go over a Horace case with Sari-san. 10-4. We'll amp up surveillance. We're going too, Sukiyura. Time to get shit done. <laughs> right on! Well, looks like we've got a full house. Shirosaki-sensei asked me to come by. She said they needed some business handle while you were out of town. I find it hard to believe she'd put it that way. <laughs> Maybe not. Either way, I don't mind helping. Yagami-san, you're just in time. I think we should conduct another interview with Ahara-san. Okay, but what will we talk about? If we want to claim he's innocent of battery, then we need to prove he's the one who murdered Mikoshiba at the same time. But since the murder footage isn't admissible in court, we need something more substantial. Basically, we need new evidence. And that might mean something no one's seen or found yet. So your plan is to meet with Ahara and just ask him? I know it's a long shot, but yes. I'd like to come help, but someone has to check Higashi-san's work. Excuse me? If I have to be Hoshino-kun's lackey, I'm fucking out. 
I'd prefer if you address me as Hoshino Sensei. Mouth on this kid. Ehara only seems to open up to you, Yagami-kun. So, if you talk to him again, do you think we'll find out something new this time? I'll see what I can get out of him. Having another chat with him couldn't hurt. Sounds good. Oh, and look after Saori for me, would you? Sure, but Mafuyu, should you even be here? Won't the prosecution think you're double-crossing them? What do you mean? I am just here to get dirt on the defense. Expect Prosecutor Takano to hear all about it. <laughs> Guess we better watch ourselves. I still have some preparations to make. Yagami-san, why don't you go kill some time? I'll call you as soon as I'm ready. It shouldn't take long. Sure thing. I'm going to try and get in touch with Ahara's wife. Even though they're separated, Ihara may have shared details about Mikoshiba's murder with her. Oh, and Higashi-san will be there to help. RK's still raising hell around the city. Bunch of ex-Tojo guys have been especially loud and proud. Just watch your back out there. Not that I don't think you can handle it. Don't forget how much pressure's on Saori right now. Ehara's trial has the police and prosecution on edge, so I'm sure it's a lot for Saori to handle by herself. But I'll do whatever I can on my end. Really, guys? Sorry for keeping you, Yagami-san. We should head to the detention center. Where are you? In Kamrocho. How about I take a cab and pick you up? If you please. I'll be waiting. Isn't that just the worst? So the murder footage can't be used as evidence. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be played in court for all to see. Yeah, and if it was, it would prove your innocence and overturn your battery conviction no problem. But the prosecution flat out refuses to accept you murdered Mikoshiba. There's no room for error. You could flat out confess and they would refuse to accept it. Excellent. In the end, they'll lock me up for battery. And I'll get away with murder. Yeah, yeah. We know all about what you and Kwana planned. We just don't have the evidence to prove it. <laughs> My condolences. Which reminds me, you said you'd confess to killing Mikoshiba after you got out of prison, right? Then, as icing on the cake, you'd admit the battery charge was false and humiliate the law for letting a murderer walk free. Exactly. The public must know that the law can't be trusted. Personally, I hope the media hops all over it. I bet you do. So when that time comes, you'll need some decisive evidence of the murder so your confession holds water. 
Maybe you've got something like that in your back pocket already? <laughs> Because we'd sure look good if we had some new evidence to take into the appeal. That's why you geniuses came all the way out here. I told you I wouldn't admit to the murder in court. I have no intention of just handing it over. Handing it over? So you're saying there is still a piece of evidence we don't know about? <laughs> what is it, Ahara-san? Even if there was, you'll never get your hands on it. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. The murder weapon. Kanagawa PD said the weapon used to kill Mikoshiba still hadn't been found. Yet it appears in the footage without a doubt as to what it is. A knife. If it wasn't found at the murder scene, it's highly likely the suspect or an accomplice took it with them. Any normal criminal would have just ditched it somewhere. Except you're anything but normal. You got revenge for your son, and you want to publicly humiliate the law for letting you pull it off. Your point? If you were cleared of the battery charges and confessed to Mikoshiba's murder without evidence, no one would buy it. You'd need something convincing. Busting out the weapon no one's found yet would do the trick. That one piece of evidence would flip the whole case on its head. Well, look at you go. Then tell me, where do you surmise I've hidden this weapon? Well, right after killing Mikoshiba and Ijinsho, you would have had to book it to Ikebukuro Station. You had accomplices with you. And if that's the case, there would have been plenty of time to hide the weapon. Yeah, so that's about as far as I've thought this out. If that's it, then I'm done here. Kawana's vanished, Ahara-san. Public security found out about him. Public security? Kawana wanted me to tell you he won't make it to the end of your revenge plan. So, I'm the last man standing, am I? He's already helped me plenty. I never expected to see him again anyway. At this point, he won't be able to outrun them. If public security catches him, he'll get much worse than an unfair trial. Burying him will be the least they do. What do you mean? What's going on? You remember last time? If you don't recall, I said you'd grab the tiger by the tail. And your tiger is... public security? Right. And they're out there on the warpath. Everything has to be brought into the light. We need what you did to be exposed. Kawana can't be saved in any other way. I need your help, Harsan. Then you lose. I'll never admit to killing Hiro Mikoshiba in court. The system can die. It threw Toshiro away, and I won't lift a finger to save it. Kawana-san knew how this could end. We have our convictions. When this started, we knew it could end up costing our lives. You knew going in, huh? And that's all? Is that what you tell yourself so you can sleep at night? Maybe it is. Yagami-san. Do you remember my original request to look into both the Hara incidents? I asked you to look into the train event, and then I asked you to look into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. And now, I'm afraid I have to make one more request of you. Do you still carry your defense attorney's lapel pin? Ehara-san's trial. I'd like you to take the floor with me to defend him. It's going to be eventful. I think we should go as a team. Sure about that? <laughs> you know, my legal counsel isn't cheap. I'll let Genda-sensei know about the invoice. You got it. 
Count me in. You never know when something like this will happen. Check it out. I always have it on me. I know that. Huh? You do? Just got back to Yokohama, actually. You weren't spying on me, were you? <laughs> you just noticed? Everywhere you went, I know about it. And I mean everywhere. <sighs> Where are you right now? Over at the Leomox place. Hoshinokun and Higashi are here, too. Oh, right. They mentioned they were going to Yokohama to see Ahara's wife or something. Make your way over, will you? I need a full report, and I don't want to hear you were slacking. Well, look at you taking charge. Anything else, boss? Yeah, don't track your feet along the way.
Bitte. Great. Really, guys? Looks like the gang's all here. Everyone but the star of the show. Now that is next level ass kissing, Hoshino kun. <laughs> a good ass kisser is a good communicator. Welcome back, Yagami san. <laughs> Grab a seat, Tuck. Nice. So you're really gonna stand in court again? Just to give Sari-san some support? Ah, I see. Does that mean I don't need to be present for Ahara-san's appeal? Huh? How would I know? Isn't that more of a Sari-san question? If Yagami's there, I don't see why you gotta be. <laughs> you're on thin ice, Hoshino-kun. You still gonna have a job if you're redundant? I have been plenty useful. At least, a little. Should a lawyer really have to say that? This guy is kind of a rookie, huh? Ha! <laughs> Man, the gangster just put the lawyer on notice. <laughs> well, that's all I got. How about you guys? So where's Kuana? Any word on where he's hiding? Yeah, about that. We must have asked everyone in Eugene's show, but we got nothing. RK's out there looking for him, too. He seemed to think I've still got him under watch. On the flip side, that means they still haven't found him either. Well, yes, although that's not much consolation. You think Kuanasan's still in one piece after the explosion? Alive? Yes. Unharmed? I can't say. When I saw him, he was already making plans to disappear. The real problem is what happens next. Now that he knows Reiko Kusumoto betrayed him, we don't know Kawana's next move. I'd never let that slide if I were in his shoes. Maybe Kawana's thinking the same thing, you know? He spent all that time underground brooding and shit. Maybe he's really gonna stick it to Reiko Kusumoto. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Oshinoku, Higashi. You two met with Ahara's wife? Yeah, but we didn't gain much from it. Turns out Ahara and his old lady don't really keep in touch. After her son took his life four years back, she refused to keep living under the same roof. Only reason she hasn't divorced him is because it's too much of a pain to process. She's been living in that same apartment even when Toshiro-kun was still alive. She let us light some incense on his altar. But she was pretty vacant the whole time. Did Ahara's battery charge come up at all? She said she didn't care. She didn't care her husband was out there groping women and killing bullies? Has she even seen Mikushiba's murder footage? According to her, no. Really? That's hard to believe. Well, there's no easy way to put it, but it felt like she'd given up on everything. Made for a pretty depressing trip, I'll tell you that. What's the word on RK coming down to Eugene show? Everywhere you look, they're strutting around like they own the place. And they know our faces, too. They stare us down, but never get too close. It's fucking annoying. Plus, they're acting like they're here to stay. They've been harassing the joints we have ties with. Harassing how? You know, shit like pretending to be normal customers, and dying and dashing or complaining to mess with business. Then another guy will come in and be like, need protection? 
and suddenly they're charging a fee. That's some Yakuza shit right there. Old shit, too. A Yakuza who pulls out today is out in one shot under the anti-gang laws. And Soma? Is he still around town? Nah, there's nothing on him. Even if he is, he probably went underground by now. And Soma isn't exactly a social butterfly like Akutsu. Finding him's gonna be a pain in the ass. Especially if he has public security's help. Unless it's a life or death situation, I doubt he'll show his face. That about wrap it up? Seems so. As for me, I think I'll head out and see what I can find out about Kawana-san. Same. I just hope he's okay. Tsukumo-san and Sugiura-san do some impressive work. Yeah. You don't hold a candle to them, Hoshino-kun. Black belt in karate, and you never even use it. Well, I'm just more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Anyway, I'm heading back to Kamurocho. Enjoy yourself, Higashi-san. What about you, Tuck? Wanna call it a night? Tesso said he'll let us stay if you do. No skin off my back, really. So, what'll it be? If I can really stay the night, I'll take him up on that. Me, I think I'll stick with Anaki and tag along. <laughs> Guess that means I'm helping you guys out. Couldn't live with myself if I backed out now with a fish this big on the line. Get this, Tuck. Tesso asked me to fly the drone. <laughs> Says it's the first time he's seen this place from above. Seriously, it's pretty legit. Pick one up for myself. Ugh! <laughs> 